Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Tuesday, January 10th. We begin with the confession of sin. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father for his sake that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And the Epiphany Antiphon is found on page 29. The Lord has shown forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and sure so with glad him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. The Lord has shown forth his glory. O oh, come, let us adore him. We'll now have the scripture readings. Uh, the psalm appointed is Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host were encamped against me, yet my heart would not be afraid. And though war rose up against me, yet would I put my trust in him. One thing have I desired of the Lord, one thing I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the fair beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his tabernacle. Indeed, in the secret place of his dwelling, he shall hide me and set me high upon a rock of stone. And now he shall lift up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and speak praises unto the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I cry unto you. Have mercy upon me and hear me. You speak to my heart and say, seek my face. Your face, O Lord, will I seek. O hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord takes me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in the right way because of my enemies. Deliver me not over to the will of my adversaries, for there are false witnesses who have risen up against me and those who speak wrong. I would utterly have fainted had I not believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh, wait for the Lord, be strong, 
and he shall comfort your heart. Oh, put your trust in the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading, uh, the epistle reading for today is is from First Thessalonians chapter two, uh, verse seventeen, through chapter three, verse thirteen. A reading from Saint Paul's first epistle to the Thessalonians. But since we were torn away from you, brothers for a short time, in person, not in heart, we endeavored the more eagerly and with great desire to see you face to face, because we wanted to come to you, I, Paul, again and again, but Satan hindered us, for what is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming? Is it not you? For you are our glory and joy. Therefore, when we could bear it no longer, we were willing to be left behind at Athens alone, and we sent Timothy, our brother and God's co-worker in the gospel of Christ, <clears throat> to establish and exhort you in your faith that no one be moved by these afflictions. For you yourselves know that we are destined for this, for when we were with you, we kept telling you beforehand that we were to suffer affliction, just as it has come to pass, and just as you know. For this reason, when I could bear it no longer, I sent to learn about your faith for fear that somehow the tempter had tempted you and our labor would be in vain. But now that Timothy has come to us from you and has brought us the good news of your faith and love and reported that you always remember us kindly and long to see us as we long to see you. For this reason, brothers, in all our distress and affliction, we have been comforted about you through your faith. For now we live, if you are standing fast in the Lord. For what thanksgiving can we return to God for you, for all the joy that we feel for your sake before our God, as we pray most earnestly, night and day, that we may see you face to face and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love, for one another and for all, as we do for you, so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle for this morning is the Benedictus Est Domine, a song of praise, on page 18. <clears throat> together. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. <clears throat> the Apostles' Creed on page 20. Together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. Eternal Father, the baptism of Jesus, you revealed him to be your son, and your Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. Grant that we who are born again by water and the Spirit may be faithful as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now I have a time for prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this day, for the possibilities that exist today, and especially for whatever you have on your to-do list for us to do. Lord, we know that you have planted our church in a neighborhood that is very mixed with businesses and schools and then also with homes that the people dwell in. Lord, show us how to reach out to all of these different aspects of our society. And especially, Lord, I ask for your Holy Spirit to descend upon the churches that are within this neighborhood, that they may be welcoming and open places for all the people that live here, all the people that work here. Show us how to find a way to reach these people in glory and mercy given to us by your Savior. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we are, as always, we are so full of thanksgiving for all the blessings you have poured over us, all the mercy you've shown us at Christ the King. Uh, we have actually come through COVID relatively unscathed, and we thank you for that. We thank you that we could keep our doors open most of the time, we could welcome people through our doors to come and worship with us. And we ask you to show us how to continue to do that, to welcome people into our church home, into your word, into relationship with you, that we can offer them a place to hear your word preached, uh, how to give them a place to come into relationship with you, whether it is a permanent home for them or just a place to launch into relationship with you. It doesn't really matter as long as they have a relationship with you. Help us to create a space where they feel safe and welcome. Help us to create a space for each other where we feel loved and welcome. And remind us each day to lift up our Bishop Stephen and his family in our prayers. Father Pete and Beth and their family, uh, that they know uh, always that they are being prayed for and loved by their church family. Mm -hmm. Show them where you will have them place their footsteps as they lead their flocks through this sometimes very difficult life, very challenging. 
times are tough right now. But when we have you, Lord, <clears throat> there is nothing, there is nothing that we cannot do if we keep our eyes on you. So remind us to do that each day. Remind us to reach out and help each other through times of illness and loss and grief and to say a kind word or send a kind note when it's needed. All these things we ask in your name. Thank you, Jesus. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your loving, for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love and redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.